We are to express the following relations as exponential relations and find the matrices. And mind you, questions like this are very confusing. So in this video, I'm going to show you some ways you can use to solve them. So let's take this as our example in, let's go back to indices, when uh, a exponent n is equal to a exponent n. So we can say that since the basis are the same, we say that the exponents are also the same, so n is equal to n. So this is the concept you are going to apply here to solve for these questions. So this is the question one. That was um, 16, log of 16 base 2 is equal to m. So this is how we go about it. So first, we first write the 16 as the power of 2 and then we write, we find for the math letters. So we, this is how we have to express them. So this is the expression. After that, we find for So this is the expression. That we, now we are going to find for the math number. That is the m. So we say 2 exponent 4 is equal to 2 exponent m. Because expressing 16 as the power of 2, this is this is how it's going to be. So our m now is equal to 2. Very simple. This is how it should be. Our m now is equal to 2. So we'll go for the next question and that is um a log of thousand a log of thousand base x is equal to three so now we express our log here a thousand at the power of x so now we say thousand is equal to three exponent x which is equal to 10 raised to the power three so then raised to the power 3 will give us 1000. So now we see our x, uh, our x now will be equal to um, 10 raised to the power, our x now is equal to 10. Yes, our x now is equal to 10. There is no power again. So if we put 10 at where the x is, this is the answer you are going to get. You are going to get 3. So it's just simple as as that we we'll go for the next question and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to support me for to create more educating videos so i really need your your support i need your likes i need your subscri your subscriptions so we say log of y base 10 is equal to zero so now we, this is how we, to, we have to express and we have to express it as an exponential relation we say y is equal to 10 raised to the power zero which is equal to one from our everyday law of indices we know that any number is going to zero is equal to one provided that number is not it's, it's not uh, zero so we say that our y now is equal to one yeah it's just as simple as that so if we put one at where the y is this is your log is going to give you zero and it's simple as that so we'll go for another question so log of one over 81 1 over 81 be 3 is equal to t. So now we let write the expressions start first. So we say 1 over 81 is equal to 3 raised to the power t. Now mind this 1 over 81 can be, you have to get the base in 3. So we need a base to be 3. The 81. So we say 1 over 3 raised to the power 4 is equal to 3 raised to the power t. So, which is now equal to 1 over 3 exponent 4 will, be, will give us 3 exponent negative 4. This is how it is supposed to be. So, our t now is equal to negative 4. It's just as simple as that. So, if you put this negative 4 at where the t is, this is just the result. How it's going to be. So, we'll go for the last question as well. And this, I think, this is more confusing, but it, it's very simple to solve. Take your time and then we'll solve it together. So we see log of 2 each plus 1 base, base 1 over 4 is equal to negative 3. So now we let's write the expression in as, as, as an exponential relation. So 2 each plus 1 is equal to 1 over 4, which is equal to you see, each is equal to 4 raised to the power 3. Yes. So 4 raised to the power 3. You see, 2 each plus 1 is equal to 3 plus 2 each plus 1 is equal to 64. So 
two h is equal to sixty four minus one. That is, we are doing some grouping like things here. Because since the equation was in there, this is how we just have to do it. We do some group like things here, so which is equal to 63. Now, our 2 each is equal to 63. So, we have to find for each. So, we divide both sides by 2. So, these two will cancel out. And then, these two will go to this 63, 31, remainder 1. So, that is 1 over 2. So, that is 0.5. That or also, we can see point. Uh, 31 and a half so our each now is equal to 31.5 or 31 and a half is the same value please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like the video and share